Hey there! This is the first video in a series about orchestrating music from the game I Am Setsuna. In this installment, contributing composer Faye talks about her arrangement of The Scent of the Sea. This theme comes up in the first village that you encounter in the game and kind of serves as the start town theme. We talk about her inspirations for the arrangement, her background as a flautist, and of course her choice in VSTs. Without further ado, let's listen to her orchestration. <laughs> oh, I see. Logic. <laughs> like you would loop it just like the song goes in the game. Yeah. Wow. So good. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> mm, fish. <laughs> fish. <laughs> le fish. <laughs> le, le, le fish au chocolate. <laughs> I, I knew Faye would will choose uh, a song either in three or six eight. I always encountered like waltz, waltz kind of music whenever I go to like flute lessons and violin lessons. The yeah, Philippines apparently like likes waltz. waltz. I'm a fan of waltzes, but I actually didn't chose it because of it. I just chose it because it's the sea, and I could imagine like hearing the woodwinds there, like really warm woodwinds mm. it's like the feeling where you get like in, when you go to the sea in like sunrise <laughs> i used to live close to the sea before i moved to the city i really liked the soundtrack of spirit Fire. Mm. it had like a lot of um woodwinds going and when i when i heard the piece first in the piano i was like oh this could sound like pretty good in the <laughs> in the woodwind ensemble sometimes pull out my flute just to check if like the articulations are correct <laughs> All Spitfire, except the piano. The piano's a Nyakai, watch out. The piano's a felt piano. Oh my god. Because <laughs> it sounds more intimate when it comes to like the felt piano because you could hear like the hammers. The, the hammers. Right, right. Mm -hmm. It's a Woodchester felt piano. It was just playing the bass parts. Dun, 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 dun. They're kind of like doubling the strings pizzicatos. String pizzicatos and the woodwinds staccatos. Right, so there's a lot of things doing that line. Tripling in there? Oof, you calm down, Faye. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually play your own flute parts, at least, right? Oh, the thing is, the acoustics in my room is bad. Oh, I see, I see. It's a clarinet, and then when it went to like the mid part, uh, it's now the oboe, the bassoon, and the clarinet all together and the clarinet turns into like the harmony and the oboe turns into like the melody to give it like more mix <laughs> mm. Blue clarinet one oboe usually like triple a melody the main thing about the oboe is that it's not a good blender uh, unless you go to the very high range and it becomes a discounted flute <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> right like it's gonna it's gonna stick out most of the time yeah I did mine on Muse score for the piano parts, and then I exported that as a MIDI file and just dragged it on Logic Pro, okay. which was a bad idea. <laughs> like I focused more on like how it would sound like in VSTs, other than just yeah, like on like the sheet music itself. Abduction is good, kids. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, that's going on the channel. 
Well, this, this was great, Faye. I, I really liked it. So that's it from Faye about her arrangement this week. Make sure to tune in next week for another installment with Tomiharu talking about his arrangement of Endless Crusade. Not every orchestration has to be for an orchestra. Check it back here, same Gabchon time, same Gabchon channel. Jianne.